guys, this is a dummy's guide to NTUCS by an NTUCS graduate. Let's talk about admin, module selection. Um, I didn't speak about this in the modules and class modules section. The star system. For UEs, it's like a first come, first serve ballot kind of thing. For course modules or core modules, most of the time you get allocated what you want. And if you are following their specified curriculum, you will definitely get that module. If you don't get, you can just email the course admin and every faculty has one. Uh, every like uh, computer science has one, computer engineering has one, and other faculties have one course admin as well. You just have to email them and they will get it settled for you. Almost all the time you will get the core module if you email them correctly and you know what you need to say and all those kind of things. But you cannot guarantee that for UEs. UEs, if you don't get means you don't get you straight away. Go and find something else. Alright? And also if you're choosing UEs from other faculties, you are probably going to be fighting with those faculty students as well because they are most likely prioritized for these UEs. So you're going to have to rub your Aladdin lamp a bit harder for more luck to see if you get slot in that UE. A lot of times there are a lot of things that overlap and if your exams overlap, you're not allowed to take it. If you're Tutorials or labs overlap, you're not allowed to take it. Um, if your lectures overlap, you can actually email them as well to allow them to, you know, allow that particular setup. So emailing works. Emailing is the thing that you have to know and have to learn. It's the key to a smooth sailing NTU experience. Any issues you may have with admin or finance or whatever that's related to school, just email. Just shoot out a bunch of emails or go down to school and find the admin. But of course, be nice to them, all right? Do understand that they are being bombarded by multiple students or like thousands of students about whatever issue that they have and they have to read through all those emails. So if you are just sending hate messages and you know, like angry memes and all that kind of stuff, they are not gonna entertain you. So always apologize for the inconvenience caused. Always take a tone where you're more grateful, slightly begging with a tint of I love you, you know, that kind of thing. So do that, all right? Make sure you try to get that tone right and they will be happy to help you most of the time. Now, I had to go through a pretty tough time in year four due to a passing of a family member. This was straight in the middle of the semester in year four sem one and I was about to sit for my exam. So I was very uh, lost and I went into an open book exam with absolutely no notes. Uh, thinking that it was a closed book exam. I mean, I had notes, but it was on my iPad, uh, but you can't use electronic devices, so I had no notes on me. And I was just not in the right state of mind. But luckily, I was able to reach out to my student mentor. I think everyone is uh, assigned a student mentor in like year one. I, I suggest you stay connected with them because they are the ones who kind of know the inner workings and they are the ones who can help you in this kind of situation. So I sat down with my student mentor, really nice guy, Saurav. What a lad, honestly. He suggested what I could do in terms of my exams and in terms of my modules. He helped me figure out like who I should email and what I should do. And he introduced me this idea of actually changing my MPEs to UEs, which I'll explain more in a while. Yeah, and which modules I should SU and which I should keep, uh, you know, and how I should, what I should do next semester. So he laid it out all for me and he really helped me find a direction and get through school because I don't want to take an LOA one year with one year left. It's just not right. It doesn't feel right to me. So I thought, you know what, I'll go through with it. Yeah, so keep in touch with your student mentors. They are the ones who can help you in your very, very specific situations. Things that you cannot find online. Other students may not even go through it. So that's where your student mentor comes in and they can really, really help you. Don't have to feel shamed or shy that you are not doing well. You know, I think at the point of time, you have to be shameless. If you want to get things done, just seek help. Like finding help is very important. The idea that he gave me basically is, so when I was doing three modules uh, for the specialization, what he suggested was you can actually change one of the MPEs to a UE. So I had to do two UEs for the next semester. I had two UEs left. I was doing one UE in year four sem one and I was doing three MPEs. So what he suggested was change one of the MPEs to a UE and SU that. The hardest one, change it to a UE SU it, tell the professor, tell the course admin, and they can do the switch for you. And after you change it and you SU it, obviously it doesn't go into my specialization anymore. But because I passed that as a UE, I've managed to get two UEs down instead of one. So the next semester I only need to do one UE, but of course I need to do four modules 
for my specialization. Because one, I had to hit the academic points and the other is because I need to get the specialization. I mean, doing this really, really reduced my burden and I could focus on the other topics or the other subjects that were slightly easier. You also tend to realize having multiple specializations doesn't matter either. Because at that point in time, I was doing some research on interviews and all that. So it came to my attention that specializing that extra line doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, it's the interview that matters and it's what you do on the interview that matters and that whether you have two specializations or one specialization really really doesn't matter yep i think this has been a long enough video i know this is a tech channel um the only reason i'm posting this here is because it's ntucs which is related to tech and i do have more to share uh, in terms of the other categories so make sure you hit that like button and smash that subscribe button and of course tap that notification bell to know when i post the next video and I hope you guys do well. I'm Thiru and I'll catch y'all in the next one.